Well, office Christmas parties can be a great way to unwind, but they can also lead to awkward situations, just like this. Oh, come on, we've all been there. <laughs> Don't say you haven't. <laughs> well, with some tips to uh, get the office Christmas party right, is John Aiken. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lisa. What is it about the office Christmas party? Well, I think it's a big blowout at the end of the year, yeah. you know, and you've, you've kept things going and been on task, and now you're all together, alcohol gets in the mix, and then you just can let things get ahead of you. Yeah. Well, OK, let's, let's run through the worst Christmas party errors that you can make. First one, drinking to excess. Yeah, and of course, it's usually on tap there. You don't have to pay for it, and, and, and often one can lead to another. And when you're unwinding and blowing off steam, it can get you into trouble. So what's the trick? Just temper it with a water in between each glass yeah, of alcohol? Yeah, I think so. And just try and pace yourself. Yeah. You know, don't, uh, don't go too hard too fast, as yeah. we've all probably done at some stage. Maybe have a good buddy who's going to say to you, that'll be enough now, That's dear. right. Yeah. Um, next one is gossiping. Yeah, you want to you want to avoid gossip and also uncomfortable topics or, or, or criticism because in those sort of environments with a little alcohol mixed in, it can really be a problem. You know, you don't want to be confronting your boss saying, "Look, I got a bone to pick with you." Yeah. It's not the time to do it. Hold back on those sorts of things. You also don't want to become part of the gossip next week. You should avoid romance. <laughs> That's right. The hookups in the closet or in the toilets. Forget that. It's not the time or the place. In the closet, did you say? Yeah. <laughs> and while while we're in the closet, don't dress inappropriately. Yeah, I mean, you know, in these Christmas parties, you, you can often have themes, uh, but uh, try as best you can not to show too much flesh. Yeah. We're on the side of caution. And don't get caught on camera. You That's know, a bit harder these days. I know it is. You know, Cameras are everywhere. Oh, there are happy snaps all over the place. But and there's also CCTV. <laughs> exactly. So watch out for, you know, those embarrassing pics with the with the various positions that come out. Uh, Facebook is there now and you just need to be aware of, you know, what you're doing in front of the camera. So even with the best laid plans, even if you try to follow all of those rules and you don't quite get it right mm. on the night, how do you redeem yourself afterwards? Well, you, uh, are, are, you're wrong in your, in your th thinking if you, if you have an idea that you can sweep it under the carpet. You're going to have to confront it. It's not going away. So the best thing to do is, is to actually front up to the issue take ownership over it and actually apologise for it. And then I think, uh, try and say to whoever it is, this isn't going to happen again, and then walk the walk. So it's what you do after the Christmas party that's going to uh, basically try and get you back in the good books. And hopefully everybody will be able to move on. Exactly. John, good to see you. And Carl, you were terrific at the Christmas party this year. 10 out of 10. Very good behaviour. <laughs> I, I was in bed after two hours. I was exactly. lame. It was terrible.